So in today's episode of the Minecraft World Let's Play, we check out the nether with the newest snapshot edition. Let's just say there's a lot of interesting moments that happen, so make sure you watch until the end. Also, if you're watching my videos like this, turn it this way, click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and go back to watching the video. I'd really appreciate that. And let's see if we can reach a thousand likes in today's video. And without further ado, check out this random funny video. Don't write on that. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Server Let's Play. This is episode 12, and today, as you guys can tell by the title and the intro, we are going to be going into the Nether. It's the brand new snapshot edition, so I'm really excited to go into the Nether for the first time ever. You guys can recall episode 3, we actually went into the Nether, but it's not in the updated snapshot, which means we were back in like the normal Nether. You guys know what I'm talking about if you watch episode 3. First thing I need to do is I have to make ourselves a uh, pickaxe, a diamond pickaxe, and actually a few of them because as you guys can tell my current pickaxe seems to be very low on durability and we do not want that especially when we go into the new update updated biome because essentially like any diamond pickaxe can just the durability just dis, just dies on it it disintegrates it's not it's not even there and i do have a little bit of tnt now the reason for the tnt is because it, it it's a little bit easier to find netherite now netherite is just as difficult to find when it comes to like diamonds so let's go in here Let's go ahead and put our pickaxe at the pick. There we go. Oh, that was easy. I thought we needed a lot more pickaxes, but you know what? We're going to take a few extras. First, before we go into the nether, I have a few things I want to show you. The first thing I want to show you is this area right here. I mapped out uh, by cobblestone. This is going to be a farm or essentially like a wheat farm. So we're going to get working on that. Also, with the updated village here for the blacksmith, a few things I've done is I've added ourselves a villager behind this little uh, desk over here or this table so we can come to the villager and essentially get ourselves whatever trades we want to get from the villager. So I think that's looking pretty nice. I took your advice and I've also added a second floor and then over here as you can see the villager is walking out but I blocked off the cobblestone there so that way he doesn't escape and we have a lot of fishermen villagers because of the barrels but don't worry we're gonna make sure the villagers stay in their specific homes so they don't all turn into fishermen what we need to do is we got to go to the nether area now what I've done was I broke the old nether and I moved it into an area that I think is a lot more beneficial to keep it closer to the kingdom and essentially check it out this is a little gate over here I made uh yeah if, let me know you saw the first gate this is the second gate let me know which one you like better okay obviously jokes aside we're not gonna keep it like this but it's just all for fun and games there what I need to do is show you guys where we're gonna be putting this nether uh portal it's gonna go right over here into the mountainside I figure that's probably a lot better than to have it inside the kingdom as of right now now the kingdom will have a lot of new additions made to it but don't worry about that but for now I just want to have it put over here all right adding those two blocks perfect so there we go. We have our second. Oh, completely failed that. Let's try again. <laughs> there we go. So we have ourselves. The nether is completely uh, open for us to go into. I'm going to put those diamonds there because they are very valuable to us. I have the golden apple just in case we have no idea what we're about to run into. But let's hope for the best. Let's check out this updated nether. All right. This looks crazy. This is absolutely insane. There's a lot of endermen, which means this is an easy way for us to get a lot of uh, ender pearls. That way we can actually find ourselves where the heck the end is. So that's actually a good thing. Let's go ahead. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Let's just break you real quick. There we go. Let's grab ourselves the ender pearl. That was only one ender pearl with looting. That's surprising. Wait, let's, there has to be a lot more. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Wait, that's so surprising. We have looting too. This should be dropping us a lot more ender pearls than just two. All right, why am I fighting? Oh, there we go. Perfect. So we have four <laughs> ender pearls already. I got easily distracted, as you guys can tell right there. So we have ourselves like a new type of grass block. It's called work warped nylum, I'm pretty sure. Now, this over here is the warped forest. Then there's crimson forest and soul sand valley, which I don't like the sound of soul sand valley because if it's actual soul sand, it's probably impossible to run around in but what is this over here this is like a new block yeah warp stem and it's essentially okay so it's like essentially like wood but in the nether oh that looks great i think i want to use this here for definitely for the enchantment room because we're going to be moving the enchantment room inside the kingdom in the next episode hopefully and i have a really unique idea for that the build is going to look pretty cool when it's done but what is this stuff here we have some nether nether sprouts. Okay, let's see what this is here. I'm just kind of like experiencing this for the first time. We have some twisted vines. By the way, I also have a new keyboard. Check it out, guys. It is 
absolutely nice. So if you guys hear some nice sounds, it is coming from this brand new keyboard. What is this little mushroom thing here? So we have warp fungus. So it, essentially these, obviously they're not trees. They look like fungus to me, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. Let's, what is this here? Is this guy really coming to attack us? We have some warped, that is a tongue twister. Warped, warp blocks, okay? And then what, what do we have up here? What is this? Is this like a light block almost essentially? Let's check it out. What is this? This is a shroom light. Okay, it's pretty interesting. I want to keep looking around here. Now, netherite is pretty difficult to find, so we're going to have to see if we can even find any in today's episode. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section how many netherite you think I'll be able to find by the end of today's episode. I promise you guys we'll probably not find a lot, but we'll definitely have to do a lot of off-screen work too. Now, we have some black stone. This looks really good for potential builds. I wonder if you can combine them and make some other stuff. What is this over here? We have uh, some... Basalt, I think it's called. I'm not sure what we can use this now I'm gonna have to obviously search up what all this stuff does essentially uh, Now you guys can call me a noob, but yeah This is my first time experiencing this and I'm still gonna have to do my research and it looks like shovels really don't do anything Beneficial for us over here. What are those over there? That seems like something like it drops gold um, All right I want to go block up to the top and see what the heck we can find. But netherite essentially is the updated OP diamond, essentially. It is a crazy uh, armor and for tools. So that's something I want to make sure we go ahead and find for ourselves. I kind of feel nervous to go up to the top. Oh! Oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die, guys. No, don't die. Please don't die. Oh my gosh, we're eating a golden apple. Okay, rule number two in this world, never dig straight up in the nether, guys. Oh my gosh, we're done with that area. We're, we're just, we're never doing that. I actually thought for a second we were going to die because let me tell you one thing, lava flows extremely fast in the nether. That's just something that I know. I don't know why I did that, but rest in peace if we died there. I would have been so upset. We would have lost the law. Ed the pick, chop chop, and then the diamond shuffle, which doesn't have a name. Okay, you know what? We're just not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this lava to go all the way down, and I'm going to find a better area to go and try and just explore. All right, so I managed to find a, a safer area for ourselves here. Now, these over here are the strider mobs, and they're absolutely friendly. Like, they won't attack you, but you can attack them, and they'll just <laughs> look at them. They'll just waddle around in the lava. But apparently, you can use them to potentially transport or walk over the lava, which would be... Pretty fun to do, honestly. I think it's like a use a carrot stick or like a stick with gold. I don't know exactly the way to work with it, but if they update, they should definitely add saddles for these so you can just go around and just and just explore. Now we're still in the warped forest. Now, what I want to do though is like I mentioned, I want to just keep looking around and see what the heck all these items are. Now we have a lot of items all over the place here, but we haven't seen the crimson um we haven't seen the Crimson Forest yet, or the Soul Forest, uh, Soul Sand Valley, I mean. But what I want to do is I want to go and find ourselves some potential netherite. Now, netherite is extremely rare. Like, I'm telling you guys, it is very, very difficult to find. So, if we don't find any in today's episode, please don't blame me. Because, oh, wow, that's lava again. We don't want to die. We learn from experience. We don't want... Oh, that's where the lava is. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to dig from this area downwards and see if we can find uh, level 15, which would be kind of ideal for us. But we're going to go down. I hear lava. I'm really nervous here, guys. I'm just going to dig slowly, okay? Uh, we learned from experience. Okay, what level are we at right now? 34. So we have to still find our way down to level Y15. Okay, so that's the more most ideal level. Oh, there's more lava. Oh, great lava over there too. All right, so far, so good. Oh, we found some gold stuff. These are actually quite nice to get. This gives us gold nuggets, essentially. We have 23 because we have fortune on this. So that is actually quite good. You can also turn it into gold. But so far, I think we're getting lucky here. There might not be any lava, which would be really, really... There's lava above us. Lesson one, let's not dig up. Okay, we don't want to die from that. Let's just keep going. We're really close. We're at 21. Uh, what are we at? 19. Okay, we're getting really close. We're at 17, okay, and we'll just go down to 15 right about here. Okay, we're at level 15. Now, what I'm nervous about is if I use this TNT and it blows up and gives us uh, a lot of lava, like, blowing out of here, then we're really in trouble, and we're just gonna have to say rest in peace. But let's go ahead and try this out, guys. We're gonna drop the TNT. What is that particle? Okay, we're gonna drop that TNT, and we're gonna shoot it with our arrow, the bow and arrow, and hope for the best. 
Let's see. Oh my gosh, there's lava here. That's not what we wanted. Do we see any, um, I think it's called like ancient debris. Okay, let's just block this off. Okay, we learned for our lesson. We do not want any more lava around here at all. Just lava, you can just please just disappear. All right, it's definitely not stopping. So we're just going to keep going across here. And we're just going to dig into this wall and just kind of place some more TNT. Oh gosh, okay. This is really dangerous. This is very, very risky. Here. Okay, this time no lava, which is what we wanted to see. Now, is there any ancient debris? Absolutely no ancient debris. Come on, come on. Blow up. Let's go. Anything in here? Ancient debris? Are you around here? Oh, no, that's 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 a troll. That's not over there. Okay, let's go in this direction and just kind of blow a hole in here too. Uh, anything here? Nope. Some more gold. Come on, come on, come on. Anything. Just give me something. We're still at level 12, actually, so we might have to be going up a little bit. Wow, absolutely nothing. Are you kidding me? All right, come on, come on. Ancient debris, are you here? Literally no ancient debris. We'll put one more TNT. This is our last one. So if we can't find it, guys, then that is going to be our luck for today's episode. All right, you know what? Let's just actually toss that out there. We're just going to place one more and let's hope for the best. Come on, please be there. Please be there. And, oh, we found one. Okay, let's hope this is a decent one. I think this is only going to be one, maybe. We'll find out, though. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It's only one. But we do have it. It's called Ancient Debris. Um, that's actually perfect. Only one of them, guys. That literally shows how difficult it is to find. But I'm pretty happy with just finding one. I told you guys, it's hard to find. And I think it's going to be really difficult if I just keep doing this. It's only going to destroy my pickaxe a lot more. Oh, yeah. Lava, 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 lava. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. Chill, lava, okay? I know you really want to kill me out here, but this is not going to happen. Look how fast it travels, guys. Okay, let's just close you up over here. Perfect. That's going to pretty much tell me one thing. We should definitely leave this area because it could probably kill us. And we already have ourselves one ancient debris. Uh, debris and I'm, I'm i'm happy with that i'm not gonna try to push my luck anymore so we're gonna head out of here all right so i didn't have to travel too far to run into this this is the soul sand valley okay which i don't like this at all because it makes you go really slow i'm not gonna attack those actually but we have some magma cream that we can definitely get for potions because obviously i think for uh to attack the water temple you're gonna need a lot of potions and i really think i just did a mistake here there's gonna be like, probably no magma creams dropped, and I'm using so much time and effort right now to kill all of these guys. Now, check out the fire, too. It's completely different. Now, this looks really cool. So, this right here is called Soul Soil, okay? Another tongue twister. They're really killing it here with tongue twisters for me, at least. Um, all right, this is cool because we could use this as a different block for dirt. Now, not to use it as dirt for itself, but to actually make it, like, a decorative block. Because it does look like some wet dirt, like mud essentially so i do like that that is something i do like the block looks quite interesting now what is that this is crimson roots so it seems like we're near crimson um uh, crimson biome oh my gosh why am i so close to dying always and this looks like what is this makes a cool sound hold on i like the sound of that this what is this this is a bone block actually bone block has been around for a while but it's interesting that you can find it now in the nether we have some blue fire, which is cool. Now, this is gravel. All right. Uh, I see one of those strider mods still mobs going around there doing their thing. Now, I don't like Soul Sand Valley because, as you guys can tell, you are just you walk really slow around here. So, I'm not a big fan of that. So, I'm just going to have to, like, do something like this. Uh, anything else I see popping around here? I do not. I see more of the ghasts. But even with that, it's not really something I want to go and fight with because once they spot you, they really just, they're not forgiving. They're really not forgiving once you attack one of them. All right, so what's this over here? Oh, it's a whole Enderman squad. Okay. I'll just take some of you guys out. And the soul, oh, that's pretty good. We got nine of them. Okay. Also, the Ender Pearls are pretty useful to just to travel around. I want to get an Elytra. So hopefully, maybe by like the next few episodes, if we can find the end, we can get ourselves an Elytra. Which would be really nice. 12 ender pearls. Now, you guys need ender pearls to make ender eyes. Um, and then that's an easier way for us to go and travel to find ourselves where the end is. Alright. Uh, let's just kill one of you guys real quick. And see if you give us some magma cream. It'd be pretty nice if you could drop some magma cream, please. Please. Okay, we got a little bit here. 
Uh, definitely not picking it up because our inventory is completely full with netherrack. I don't like the netherrack. Oh, gosh. Oh, they're really getting a little bit difficult with me here, guys. I just need your magma cream. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, all right. Relax, relax. I'm just going to grab a little bit more. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> we got only eight magma cream from that. That's, that's good to know. Let's go make our way up to the top. There's some more of you guys. Do not push me in lava. I dare you guys to not push me in lava, okay? Let me just shoot you guys out of here. I completely dodged it, too. Okay, let's just block up to the top and see. I think this is going to, like, end off, like, the amount of adventures we're doing in the new Nether update. Because I'm not seeing anything else. And I don't think I'm going to find anything soon with netherite but hey i'm pretty happy with what we did so far now i want to go find the portal again so let me go do that the prime possession of this place so we're just gonna head back in here and finally just get back to the kingdom safely without dying i think that's pretty successful i'm pretty happy with that <laughs> so let's grab a bed here so that we can actually get some rest okay let's just place the bed down here so make sure the rain stops all right so we'll make it back into our village uh villagers i have successfully returned from the nether without dying i will say had a very close call potentially to dying so uh we managed to survive that so yeah that's gonna conclude today's episode if you enjoyed it make sure you go ahead and hit that like button down below if you're new make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell also shout out to all the new members subscribing and joining the channel i appreciate all the amazing support and yeah guys by next episode maybe we'll find a lot more netherite so we can update our armor or at least even the tools too so maybe you guys if you hit the like button if we get a thousand likes uh maybe that will happen in the next episode i'll just go crazy ham in the uh, nether and just try to find as much netherite and i'll make sure to record it so we can put together a cool time lapse so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my name is alexon peace out and stay foxy